You know, we don't get any love during the election season, the presidential election season here in New York, because everyone knows which way the state is going. Not the case in Pennsylvania, especially this year. Pretty much everyone in the country and the world watching the ballot count there. And we got to thinking, that's only like two hours away from here. What's it like for folks living there? Well, we sent Eric at a cost down there to find out. We're in Lawrenceville, Pennsylvania, two hours south of Rochester, and what a difference two hours makes. Residents we talked to today are feeling the pressure of being in a swing state. We got some of their reaction. Gwen D. Young lives in Tioga County. She says this is the most intense election she has ever seen. I'm 71 years old, and this, uh, I've never seen anything like this. She says a lot of her neighbors and even family differ with her politically for this election. It's mostly uh, Trump supporters. Most of my family of origin is our Trump supporters. She says drive 20 minutes north, even more people rooting for President Trump. There's not many signs of Biden around here. There's so much hatred for Trump. Those that hate him, hate him. I asked these residents if they'd be open to having a hypothetical conversation with someone that differs from them politically. Oh, absolutely. I do all the time. Yes, that would be nice. A lot of us don't won't talk about it because there's so much friction. And De Young says while it may feel tense at times, the energy is high, and no matter who wins, she says it's showing her how important democracy is, where everyone's voice is accounted for. A little bit exciting, you know, to to know that the pen, pen, well, all I mean, it really emphasizes how important every vote is. After all is said and done, and the signs come down, Pennsylvania will go back to normal. But who knows? We could be back here again in four years. In Lawrenceville, Eric had a cost. News 8. All right, Eric Ketta, thank you. As you saw, Eric Ketta did that report without a jacket. Whether we can be jacketless throughout the weekend, we're going to find out.